Hello, everyone. Happy Wednesday. Happy spring from my home to your home. Um, I wanted to celebrate with you this gorgeous day. And also, I'm going to continue the celebration of our um, of our faculty. And today, especially, we're going to celebrate also Mrs. Faraji, our school nurse, since it's uh, National School uh, Nurse Day. And she has been doing an amazing job for all of us. So thank you, Mrs. Faraji, for inspiring us, taking care of us. Um, and you are part of the teachers. You are always teaching us how to stay healthy mentally and physically. So this includes you, OK? As usual, I have a script that I share with you. And that script is usually a PowerPoint. That's how I feel comfortable uh, with the visual help, as you know. And so the PowerPoint today is exactly that. It's the teacher appreciation that we want to have for all of you, the teachers in our school. Here we go, launching the slide show. And remember, our nurses are included. Sorry, pop-ups. Uh, Mr. Noonan, our master teacher, is included, OK? So here we are. Why do we honor teachers? Well, they are mentors. They are actually helping us build habits of the heart and of the mind. And so that's why we love them, and that's why we care so much about them. Now, um, I wanted to play around with concrete data, you know. Um, we need to, we say that what we measure is what we value, we value what we assess. So we value excellence, we value our teachers. Um, excellence, the gradual results of always striving to do better. So here's the concrete data that we have using your own voices, the parents' voices, okay? From your answers, if you remember two or three weeks within launching this the remote learning, we conducted a survey, a very honest survey, because we are here to serve you, each family, each student. And the answers were remarkable. This is what we call qualitative data. You've been doing a great job. This is from you, one of the parents, who said, I'm also a teacher who has been teaching remotely since the beginning. And I know it's not easy. It's a ton of work and I appreciate all you have done to keep my children moving forward rather than just treading water. This was at the end of the survey, the open-ended portion. I'll, I'll share with you more data, okay? Uh, no suggestions, but wanted to comment Fenwick on its quick response to have the students up and running on an online platform so quickly for, and for continued learning without missing a beat. Most public schools have not transitioned to the new learning and Fenwick was doing that from the get-go. So this is what we call quantitative data. If you remember, those who answered the survey, we had 163 answers from different families, and we categorized your answers into strongly agree, agree, somewhat agree, and disagree. Anytime you get a weight average of three and above, it's a good result. Well, here we have four and above. So for those who want, who like reading, you have this portion, and the colorful answers charts mirror the same answers that you see here. So for example, first question, we are achieving balance between our social reality confinement at home and student learning. Your answers strongly agree, 56%, 92 of you agree, 35%, 58 of you somewhat agree and disagree, only one. And this is what we mirror here, strongly agree, agree, somewhat agree, disagree. For the first question, we are achieving, okay? Second point we wanted to measure. Holding classes twice a week for each discipline creates a sense of normalcy for ourselves and our children. Strongly agree, 50%, agree, somewhat agree. And remember, at that point, we didn't know we were going all the way through the very end of the school year. And here is the chart. For the second, holding classes, strongly agree, agree. So now that you know how to read these charts, let's see three questions rather than two questions. 
specific work assigned and the overall workload expected have been manageable and meaningful for us. It was very important that it was not busy work, but deep work, continuing learning. After all, you're making huge sacrifices to send your children to Fenwick. And we have 73 of you strongly agree, 59 of you strong um, agree, above three, way above three. FEMWIC has provided our students and families enough resources and flexibility to keep the learning going in spite of these fast evolving crises. Yes, yes. FEMWIC has been responsive to our technological challenges imposed by our sudden need to move to a remote learning. Many of you share spaces. You need a quiet space, computers, bandwidth. You see the results way above three. Fengwei communications have been supportive of our health and well-being. Remember, we teach the whole child and you are part of our family. I find the morning announcements and prayers quite useful. Many of you find, find them useful. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Noonan was the brain behind all this. The resource page on remote learning in our Fengwei website has kept me informed during these challenging times. The great majority say yes. So we needed these honest questions, uh, but we also wanted the open-ended questions. I will lead, uh, let you read them. These are just samples. And it's true, we have an amazing school. On a personal note, I wanted to share with you how much I love my faculty. Um, when I heard over April break that we were going to continue the remote learning for a long time, my heart sank because we are here because we love interactions with the students. So I sent an email to the faculty, we're going to manage, we're going to have an in-service day. Uh, I was doing lots of research, how to support that remote learning. And I love this. When times are tough, character strengths continue to shine. And this is from the VIA Institute, great resource. Choose to see the love, kindness, teamwork, bravery around you. Focusing on your greatest qualities and those of others can help you feel more in control and centered during major life changes. And we are going through one. So even for family life, affirm each other. It's amazing how much we have to put up with annoying situations concentrate on the important ones and affirm each other. I call my faculty, that's why this is a personal note, the Gestalt team, because when I first encountered them, you know, been working in different institutions for 30 plus years, but this faculty is special. So when you add each of them, you have an amazing team. So this is another uh, message that I shared with them. But this is teacher appreciation, so I know you you will understand why I wanted to share with you the parents, because this is what happen what happens behind the scenes. And do, we do align our energy, creativity, collaborative spirit, and common purpose. And why Gestalt? Why do I call the team Gestalt? Okay, it's a school of psychology in the founded in the twenty first. Uh, 20th century and bas it's basically a perception theory that says that when you add the whole of anything is greater, greater than its parts that is the attribute of the whole are not deducible from analysis of the parts in isolation the word gestalt is used in modern german to mean the way a thing has been placed or put together there's no exact equivalent in English, but I, I know the equivalent. It's the Fenwick family. And I'm sure you have seen these images when you say, what do you see? And you can say a triangle. Oh, but another triangle, but then all these. And that's the idea. That's the team that we have at Fenwick, the faculty team. You add each of them and you have more than 55 people, much more than 55 energy brains and everything. Their work transcends eternity. They fully understand how they are shaping the hearts and the minds of our students during these formative years. Each of them and all of them inspire every student to grow in intellect, character, faith, and service leadership. 
all of them hone the ability to think ethically, logically, rationally, and imaginatively. A Fenwick teacher is a lifelong learner, not just of what, but of how he or she teaches. And we saw this vividly on Monday when we had peer-to-peer -peer sharing of good practices and tips on how to go deeper into this remote learning phase. We, they all understand that growing in knowledge and virtue is the persevering and loving work of a lifetime. So thank you to each of you. And we start with Nurse Faraji today, okay? Announcements. Remember, freshmen, sophomores, juniors, meet with your teachers, countdown, you only have three more days, okay? Friday, we have moving up day for the seniors and you'll, the seniors will get more details from Mr. Grocky. Next Thursday, we have virtual National Honor Society ceremony on Thursday and a virtual Night of the Arts at 6 p.m. So get together as a family and celebrate with us. And next week, ongoing, the seniors will have pick a time and they come to campus and pick their gowns, pick up their gowns, clean up their lockers, everything again. Mr. Grock is going to send you more details. And finally, our prayer, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Teacher appreciation prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for all of our teachers and educators who have dedicated their lives to educating our children, youth, and adults. We thank you for the ways they have inspired us, motivated us, challenged us, and guided us into greater knowledge. Along with instructing us in academic subjects, we thank you, we thank you how our teachers have equipped us with the tools we need to be able to grow and achieve. In their classrooms, virtual classrooms, we have learned how to communicate well, how to cooperate and work with each other, and how to use organized approaches to reach complex goals, achieve levels of excellence, and follow our dreams. We thank you, God, that our teachers help us learn to live productively within our communities and in our world. We pray especially that you will bless our teachers with your help and grace. Fill them daily with encouragement by showing them specific ways that their teaching efforts are making a difference in their students' lives and in the world. Give our teachers the wisdom, training, and staff support they need to deal with students with learning disabilities, learning differences, health problems, handicaps, behavior problems, and difficult home lives. Give them the grace to discipline children fairly, lovingly, and effectively. Grant supportive parents and communities to all our teachers. Keep the communication lines open between the teachers and parents. Help parents listen well and not push the teacher to make exceptions to the rules for their child. Provide times of rest and renewal for our teachers. Bless their health, their home lives, their spirits, provide for their financial and emotional needs, nurture their faith, protect their health, prosper their work. Help our teachers know today and every day how much we appreciate their dedication to education and equipping us with the knowledge and skills we need to succeed in life. We pray these things in the name of um, the spirit of Jesus, the good teacher, amen. Okay, my friends. I hope you have a wonderful time, a wonderful Wednesday, and I'm sorry it took a little bit longer than usual. It's worth it. Take care.